Well, it's guys, welcome back. I'm Effin Hate It. With the rising interest of streaming on VR, I've been asked numerous times how I go about streaming, so I'm gonna show you real quick. First things first, I have this blue screen back here. This is preference. I feel that little square in the corner actually takes away from the game. So I try to cut as much of me out as possible, but still show my reactions and stuff. I use blue because I have green in my tattoos and also I wear a lot of green. I use a GoPro 9 for my camera. I've done many different webcams and none of them really look as clean as GoPro. It's very bright in here. Which is, which is what you need. I have lights out front to capture me, but also I have lights right here. Some really ghetto lights. <laughs> I pretty much, I took these LEDs and stuck them to a PVC pipe and I rotate them to where they go right onto the blue screen, but where they don't hit me. That's the whole thing. Now I have two different microphones. This is the one I use whenever I'm talking to the camera like now. And this is a magnetic mic that I actually put on the side of my headset. It has mute and unmute and then of course pairing. It comes with a little adapter that plugs right into the PC and that's what makes it wireless of course. There's two different modes. I don't use the Omni side of it because I don't want anything out there because I do run my fan. It gets hot when you're in the VR headset. Now I put the other piece to it right here. It just magnets right up to it and it's good to go. Now judging on how long I'm going to be in the headset for, I may or may not use a battery pack. This is the one I got right here. You gotta make sure you get 2.1 amp, that way it actually charges your headset while you play. Now I run this up through the back of my shirt into the back of the headset. I kind of weave it to where it goes right into the charge port, that way there's no crazy cables flying around every time I move. I do the same thing with my headphones. I have to use headphones because you have the microphone right there and you don't want bleed over from the audio. That sounds like total ass. Now I'm going to put my headset on, I'm going to record from the headset. I'm going to show you everything I do to set up for a stream. Alright, so I'm assuming you know how to set up AirLink, if not there are tutorials for that. It's literally just open up the app on your PC, go to beta, and turn on Oculus Air Link. Inside the headset, right here, this is where I'm at, hit Oculus Air Link, connect to your PC. Alright, so now that I'm in here, what I do is I hit my desktops here, and here is my desktop number two. I got two desktops, two monitors, so I always move them, get this out of the way here. This is where I usually sit. So any games that feel very narrow, like 90 degrees, I know. I go straight to the Oculus mirror to get 150 on the field of view. That's why I get a big wide field of view. You can see I have my OBS here. What we do to pin them, we add desktop panel. I'm gonna go to OBS, it's gonna be this one. And then I can pin this right down here. Pin, pin to experience. Also, it's worth noting that when you go to your desktop audio, you're going to want headphones, Oculus Virtual Audio Device selected. You're gonna want that on OBS. And also on the microphone, I can see I already have the wrong microphone selected. You're gonna want your Antleon wireless microphone. That, that is this one right here. Make sure it's selected. <laughs> I've done, I've already messed that up a few times, but I'm glad chat's supportive enough to say, hey, yo, your shit's fucked up. So the other thing is whenever I do my streams, I'll just add desktop panel. Make sure you pop out chat and you can go to your Google Chrome. There'll be a tab right there that has pop out chat, like live chat. You select that one, you do the same thing. You pin it over there. Now that everything's ready to roll here, I would just, you know, jump right into the game. So we're going to launch a game and now I'm in the game. As you can see, let me go ahead and switch back to my desktop here. You just hit the you just hit the Oculus button on the right hand, you know, not the menu button, the actual Oculus button. And we'll go ahead and shoot over to my stream overlay. Turn my VR chroma key on. And there we have it. That's the only problem with the Oculus mirror being used. It can see everything you use, even though you have the settings in there. To turn off image layer visibility, I do not have any system layers selected, but that's just what it is. Uh, I assume you know how to set up the rest on OBS. That's not my tutorial, that's somebody else's tutorial. You can still select all of your stuff here. 
you know, so I can do my transition. So I constantly have to hit this button in order to come back in here so I can move through my transitions. You know, different scenes for different things. There we have it. You got Alfred over here dancing around, chilling. You know, uh, my game capture, I just got to select the, the window, you know, go to my properties. This will be actually uh, Larsa Nuts. And then it's ready to roll. Pow! And that's it. That's a wrap. If you look over here, you can see everything pinned still. And it's good to go. So I hope this guide helps you guys out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out till then. Look, I can use my outro here.